Joining me at uh, Moss Lane, Hereford manager Russell Slade. You've had time to calm down a little bit, I would imagine, from now on. What, uh, what do you reflect on that game today? Um, well, certainly not good enough. Um, so disappointed because I thought we started the game so well. First 15, 20 minutes, could have gone one in front. But there's, um, it's not a strong enough mentality because the moment they get a goal... It seemed to knock the stuffing out of us, the energy out of us. We needed half time at 2 0 to try and then, you know, regroup, which we did. And then the start of the second half, I thought we started okay uh, again, but we couldn't keep it going. We managed to get a goal, but that was when we were three down. Um, and in both boxes, simply not good enough today. And I've asked the players, to be honest, I've asked the players two questions really. Um, because at the end of the day, they're, they're a reflection on, on me and what I'm trying to do for the football club. And I want this football club to do well. It deserves to do well. And at the minute, we're letting the football club down. We're letting the fans down. I ask them if they, they need to be honest enough whether they can give what is required OK, week in and week in. Hey, and not, and, every, and not just for 20 minutes, for 45 minutes or for one game. For 40-odd games, are you good enough? Are you going to give us what we require? Ask yourselves and be honest. And the second thing, and that's the same for me, the same for me. And the second one is, if that answer is yes, yeah, I can do it, Gaffer. Yeah, I'm definitely the, one for the, I'm definitely the man for the job. Then what are we going to change? Because we can't keep doing this away from home, where we go a goal down or two goals down and we can't recover. Um, and, you know, we've, we've conceded far too many goals on, on, on the road and, and that needs to stop. We're not giving ourselves a chance to, to um, stay in the game. And it's disappointing because at times we have got quality, um, but we need, to, we need to be ruthless with it. It's quality in both boxes, it though, is. isn't it? It's that yeah. decision making. Yeah. And I don't think Thompson was forced into one save apart from Vincenti's goal. Yeah, pro probably right. I mean, having said that, I don't think he'd have got near Tom O'Sullivan's. He just watched that, and you know that was a little bit unlucky. And then Pope followed up and had a great chance as well. But um, I, I still think we had a couple of chances. There was a Josh's header, firmer header that might go in the back of the net, second period as well. Look, we're creating. We need to create more. I take your point. Absolutely need to create more, more consistent with it. And we need to be finishing them. We need to be ruthless. But whilst, whilst that process is going on, we need, we, we need to defend in and making it very, very difficult not to concede. And, and it was a worry, wasn't it? Every time a ball went forward, or down the sides, or into the box, it was a it was a worry. It, concerning that both fullbacks probably not their favoured positions, and that seemed to tell. I think they cut us open. Altrincham played really well at pace, and they, they cut the Hereford defence open. Yeah, they they, they they did at times. Um, not easy because we're, we're a few players missing, as you know. Um, that that and Popey is a bit of a utility. He slotted in at right back for us today, Jack. Probably best position is centre off. He'd want to play centre off, but um, he's doing a job for the team as well. We've got Green Slade on the bench. We've got Hodgkiss struggling as well. So we, we have got a, we have got players to come back, but you know it's still an opportunity for whoever's putting that shirt on to go and show them I want to play next week. Wasn't too many there telling me, listen, Mr. Manager, I want to be in your plans next week, a week after because I want, to, I want to move forward with this club. Because there's the FA Trophy next week, it's Kings Lynn, they've gone top of the table unbelievably today, um, and Hereford really got beaten well at Kings Lynn, so tough prospect in the trophy next Saturday. Challenge for these players to show you what they are actually made of. Yeah, pro probably the sort of fixture that we need right now, because there's no hiding place. But there won't be a Kings Lynn, as I say, free scoring as well, so it'll be a test. I watched them on the way down against Altrincham. Yeah, yeah, they looked a very decent side. They'd be a real thorough test. What's the position with Rowan Lybird and Rhys Steich? Are they back this week? Yeah, they'll be back later this week, yeah. So they'll be involved in training, so they'll give you an so, option Well, well um, Rowan won't be. I don't think he will get back till about Thursday. Um, but I think Rhys will be back Tuesday. So he will certainly train Thursday, but I'm not sure about Tuesday because of the um, plane times.
Well, thanks for your time today. Pleasure. Thank you. Go with Russ. Sorry, just a quick sorry, question sorry, about Tom, um, Kieran Thomas today. Yeah, yeah, he's got a he's got a hamstring. Um, which he picked up at the, in in the game on Tuesday night, so wasn't worth risking. Jared still with that ankle, not worth risking. Um, so that was disappointing, Just really. A tweak with Kieran, I yeah, I, I hope so. M m maybe normally with a, a grade one hamstring, they say about ten days, something like that. Um, so he, he will have he will have a, a chance. For Saturday, but we'll have to see. We could have really done with him today, couldn't we? <laughs> look, 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 we've we've we've, we've missed a few um, players that will feel that they could have done better uh, and maybe help the team. And I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, it, uh, you can't make excuses, and, and I and I can't I can't dodge it as well, Ben. The, it's it's okay. I've inherited some of those players. It's my team. It's my team as well, and I, I feel res totally responsible. Um, and I'm not dodging that, but I think, you know when they cross that white line, you know they've got to, they've got to, they've got to want to do it. They've got to have a strong mentality to see it through, right to, right from the first minute to the last minute. It, look, it looks to some of us as though some players ought to be out, and you ought to be recruiting a few more. Is that possible with the budget? I think that has to be a conversation. Going forward, because we can't go on like this. You can't keep giving people opportunities to deliver. Um, we have to look at it. Yeah, that's all I say. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.